So in front of me, I've created an example cash flow forecast. It's worth you doing one of these for each of your three ideas for your micro enterprise. Um, and it's really straightforward. It's just a picture of how if you predict roughly the right kind of quantities for things, how well your business will work. Um, it lets you see all the statistics and all the figures on one balance sheet um, and kind of helps you work out whether the business is worth investing in or not in terms of money. So to begin with, I'm going to just format this a little bit nicer. So I'm just going to highlight those, I'm going to make them bold and I'm going to move them across. Make cash inflows is going to be bold because that's a heading. Cash outflows is going to be bold and then net cash flow is also going to be bold. And if you notice, these are three key terms. Inflows literally are money that's coming into the company. Uh, cash outflows are anything we're spending money on. And then the net cap cash flow is how much money we should have at any given point, um, either the end of the month or the beginning of the next month. So the first thing I'm going to do is, oh, actually I'm going to highlight this first. And I'm going to put a border around it. It's just easy to see everything then. Okay, very straightforward. I've estimated that in January I'm going to sell 1,500 sweets, 1,500 pounds worth of sweets, that's one and a half grand, and 1,500 pounds worth of drinks. In fact, I'm going to highlight these and show you something as well. So if I highlight all of those together and click on the pound sign, it should display them as currency. I'm also going to get rid of those borders there while I'm at it. Right, so finally this is going to be currency as well. In fact, I'll highlight everything in this area, which is what we call a range, and I'll make it all currency. Okay, working out total cash inflows is really straightforward. We type equals, we type sum. In brackets, and then we highlight all the things above that function and close the brackets. So what we've done effectively is we totaled up how much cash we're making per month um, in terms of its inflows. Now you can copy that formula across to each column just by hovering over that little blue square there and just dragging it to the adjacent two. We're going to do the same thing for outflows then. We're going to work out what the total money being spent is. So equals, sum, brackets, and then highlight those three rows there and close the brackets. So that's totaled up how much we're spending. And then we'll just drag that by hovering over the little blue square and just moving it across. So each month you can compare what you're making and also what you're spending. Finally, to work out the net cash flow then, we work out a little formula. So we type equals. The opening balance, so that's how much money we have in the account to begin with. Minus the total cash outflows. So with the money we have now, we want to work out how much we'll have left over once we've spent all the money we need to spend on running the business. However, because we're making profit, we're making some money anyway, we put a plus and we click on the total cash inflows. Press enter. And that should now show you your working balance. And lo and behold, I've already written in there anyway as part of this demo. So the next thing we do again, under there we type equals the opening balance minus total cash outflows plus total cash inflows presenter and again you see I've just carried this forward I've just written it in again type equals opening balance for that month minus the total outflows plus total cash inflows. So it's fluctuating, isn't it, constantly? It's going between 4,000, nearly 6,000, down to 2,300, and it should be going back roughly to 4,000 again. So that is how we, we work out our cash inflows, outflows, and net flow. Obviously, the inflows and the outflows are predictions. What I estimate this kind of business will, will sell, but it gives me a nice overview of what I should be left with each month based on those sort of predictions, based on those estimates.
and that's how to make an example cash flow forecast.